Indifferent for Girls, A Girl's Own True Life Adventures in Pop, Louise Wenner takes readers on a nostalgic and insightful journey through her personal experiences as the frontwoman of the British indie rock band Sleeper. Through her candid and introspective narrative, Wenner delves into the challenges and triumphs of being a woman in the male-dominated world of pop music in the 1990s. Wenner's writing style is engaging and conversational, making it easy for readers to connect with her story. She employs vivid descriptions and relatable anecdotes that transport readers back to the heyday of Britpop. Her self-deprecating humor adds a layer of charm and authenticity to the narrative, allowing readers to empathize with her struggles and victories. One of the central themes in the book is the exploration of gender dynamics in the music industry. Wenner reflects on the double standards and stereotypes she encountered as a female musician, often being judged based on her appearance rather than her musical talent. She highlights the constant pressure to conform to societal expectations of femininity, and the frustration of being objectified by both the media and industry insiders. Wenner's experiences shed light on the pervasive sexism that existed within the music industry during that era. Furthermore, Wenner offers a nuanced perspective on the complexities of female identity and self-image. She openly discusses her own insecurities and the struggles she faced in reconciling her ambition with societal expectations of what it meant to be a woman. Wenner's vulnerability in sharing her personal journey adds depth to the narrative, making it not just a story about being in a band but also a tale of self-discovery and empowerment. Another notable aspect of Different for Girls is Wenner's astute observations on the power dynamics within bands and the challenges of maintaining creative integrity. She delves into the tensions and dynamics that arise within a band, exploring issues such as creative differences, ego clashes, and the balancing act between artistic vision and commercial success. Wenner's frank portrayal of the band's internal dynamics provides valuable insights into the collaborative nature of music making and the delicate balance required to sustain a successful musical project. Additionally, Wenner's narrative is interwoven with a broader cultural commentary on the music scene of the 1990s. She offers insightful reflections on the rise and fall of Britpop, providing a behind-the-scenes perspective on the industry's trends, fads, and influences. Her encounters with iconic figures of the era, such as Damon Albarn and Jarvis Cocker, add a touch of celebrity glamour to the narrative while simultaneously grounding it in the realities of the music industry. In conclusion, Different for Girls, A Girl's Own True Life Adventures in Pop, is a captivating memoir that not only offers a glimpse into the world of 1990s Britpop but also provides a poignant exploration of gender dynamics, self-identity, and the challenges faced by female musicians. Winner's engaging storytelling combined with her sharp observations and introspective musings, make this book a compelling read for both music enthusiasts and those interested in the social and cultural dynamics of the era.